So this is not going to resonate for everyone, but whoever I'm speaking to today, you need to be cautious, okay? There is somebody around you that is very extreme in their thinking. And this person, they're very reactive, right? So they're not really in charge of their emotions at all. They're not very emotionally mature. Instead, they tend to react very extreme to any type of emotion, okay, or mood change, right? This is somebody that is very unpredictable just because they can't even predict themselves. Because they hear the thing, they could be happy, right? They could be normal, they could be happy. But if somebody, I just seen 101, if somebody kind of, I don't know, affects their emotions or makes them react in some type of way, this person doesn't even know, and I just seen 111, they don't even know how they're going to react. Okay, they're very unpredictable, they're very explosive, um, they tend to, they can't control themselves, they can't control their emotions. Now, you may be dealing with somebody with borderline personality disorder because it kind of feels like that, like this energy field. The up and down, the highs and lows, the very extreme reaction, it kind of feels that way. Now, they don't have to have that, but this is somebody who is very extreme in their thinking and they really overthink and they tend to even form I guess you could call it like delusion right um they tend to form like very unrealistic ideas um there's also this energy where you have been very open to this person you've been very nice to this person and again you are a very nice kind caring person in general but the thing is about this person is they have really taken that to the next level and they I'm just getting this like they feel like you're their soulmate we have the twin flame card here. They could think that, like, you're their twin flame. It's like they feel this soul connection to you. Or they think that they do. Like, here's the thing. It feels like limerence, but it feels like that's how this person is, though. Like, they take things and they turn it into something it's not. Okay, they twist the story in their mind. You could literally message this person. I just seen 333. You could message this person. And they may think that, like, you could say, hey, how are you? And they think that you're in love with them. Or they think that you've been waiting to talk to them. Okay, or they think it's like some type of, Sign, okay, they're very, very extreme. And I am getting that you sent them some type of message. Um, and again, it's like it's fueling their delusion. Okay, it's like they have made up this false fairy tale in their head about you and them. And... The more that you talk to them, the more that you're nice to them, it's like it feeds into it. So you have to be very, like, cautious on how you interact with this person. Um, because right now, they have put themselves in this state of limerence, right? Because they have really entertained this thought that you guys are meant to be together and like you're their soulmate, you're their twin flame and like 
you know, you both are like in love with each other and they have made that in their head and they believe that. Okay, so now they have put themselves in this state of limerence where they're very upset over you. They're waiting for you to talk to them. They feel like there's a separation period between you two. And again, even things like, I don't know, like you interacting with other people really get to this person. Even though, and I am getting that fourth from you, this is somebody that you work with, right? Somebody that you met through work or something like that. Or they could be somebody that you work with that they feel like there's a connection, like you two have a connection. And even if you do or not, it's none of their business. But the thing is, in their mind, okay, like in their mind they have convinced themselves that you guys are meant to be together, you're their soulmate, twin flame, right? And that you're secretly in love with them because they are secretly in love with you. And this happened very instantly for this person because they're very extreme, okay? Um, they're the type of person where, like, you meet them today, they're planning their wedding with you tomorrow, right? So this is somebody that, yeah, that's what... See how we have this love-hate card? Like, that's what they're like. It's like, they either love you or they hate you. And very extreme too. Right? So, as I mentioned, they're very reactive. I'm getting that they've seen something. Like, they've seen you with somebody and they're just, like, very angry about it. So I'm getting that you may have backed away from this person, okay? And I don't blame you because the red flags are presenting, right? You may have walked away from them. You may have, even if you weren't rude or anything, I'm just getting that you create a distance, right? Because this person was very heavy in your energy. But you've created some type of type of distance. And they're real messed up about it. It's like they can't sleep. They're constantly thinking about you. You literally play in their mind all day. Like thoughts of you go through this person's mind all day. And again, um, they don't think like you would, okay? Because this is a very obsessive person, somebody that, again, they feed their own delusions. Um, they could have, as I mentioned, they could have some type of mental illness, right? I just named 919. They could have some type of mental illness, so, but I don't know what's really going on here. All I know is they, they don't think normally, right? They're very extreme. They jump to, like, the most extreme conclusion, right? They... It's like you could do the slightest thing and then they have kind of 
twisted it in their mind. They tend to make a lot of things about them. Like this person. They don't just think that the world revolves around them. But they think that you revolve around them. Like this is somebody that is literally checking up on your social media. Right? They even think that you are leaving them like telepathic messages or subliminal messages right they think that this person will like search your social media and say you post something in their mind they will make it about them you could literally post like a picture with a white shirt on right And they think that you wore that white shirt because they wore a white shirt the other day. That's literally how they think. Okay? And again, it's like everything that you do, I just mean 11-11, they think it revolves around them. They think that everything that you post on social media, it's about them. Everything that you do in your life, in somehow revolving around them, right? They just, they honestly think like that, right? So this is somebody with a lot of karmic energy to them. And through you, they're learning some type of lesson. Through you, um... I am getting that they may realise or they may be shown that the way that they're thinking is not normal, right? I do see you like, you're not entertaining it at all. If anything, um, you seem to be really happy where you're at, at at the moment. You are very focused on your money, on your career. You're not even into love right now. But yeah, this person, they're watching everything that you do. And anyone that's like near you. And they think it's like a love interest. They get very, very possessive. Like they literally think. Again, they have convinced themselves that you two are meant to be together. I just think 13, 13. You two are meant to be together. Like there is no other way. Like there is no other person for you, for them. This is the way that this person is thinking. This person, they also, they tend to, again, they're convinced that, like, you're both meant to be together. They are also convinced, keep this in mind, they're also convinced that you are hiding your feeling for them. For whatever reason, okay? They are not open about their feelings, right? But... They feel like you're the same. They feel like that, you know, this connection is hard, okay? Like, you guys can't be together. There's something in the way. So, like, you're secretly in love with them. They also feel like, even if you were to tell them that you're not, they would feel like that you're just saying that. Like, that's this person. Very extreme. Okay, now just to be careful with how you're interacting with them. Again, you're a very sweet person. Um, but just keep in mind that they, anything that you say, I just need 1444. Everything that you say, they convince themselves that you're in love with them, obsessed with them. You probably want to just keep it short. 
also um just also like reject them if you want right but don't do it in a harsh way I am getting that you're dealing with somebody that's a little bit with the psycho card here um, a little bit crazy okay and you know this person's going to have a very hard time letting go they're going to have a very hard time believing that you don't love them you're not into them that you guys don't have a connection because they have spent so long convincing themselves and also like feeding this fairy tale feeding the delusion like every single thing like if you post something they convince that you did it for them and they convince that some type of confirmation right This person, they're getting readings on you. They're looking into you on a spiritual level. And again, this is the type of person where even if they come across a very accurate reader that tells them to their faith what this is, they're not going to claim that. <laughs> like, they will find a different reading that feeds their delusions. Like, this is this person. So, it's important that, again, you're cautious of this, because they have obsessive behaviour, they're obsessed with you, they have created this whole thing in their mind and they're very possessive. Also, just be careful, like, not be careful, I don't want to put fear into people, but do be cautious, okay, because people that think this way, are very unpredictable so that's all I have for you if it resonated let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video